Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, leading jockey Tevin Foster advertises ability. In Saturday's I'm Satisfied Trophy at Caymanus Park, where fans are getting ready for this weekend's opening leg of the Triple Crown Series. Guinness Triple Crown Action 2 this weekend at Trinidad and Tobago's Santa Rosa Park. But this undefeated top two-year-old last year will be missing. And Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. links up with Hall of Fame American jockey Mike Smith. The result? A stakes win at Lone Star Park in Texas. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean success in North America. We're kicking things off in Jamaica. Saturday's main event at Caymanus Park, the I Am Satisfied Trophy, honoring the former Horse of the Year and 2000 Triple Crown winner. Seven runners going in the six furlong sprint, among them the favorite, the four horse, Wall Street Trader, on a two race winning streak with Robert Halladine aboard. And number three, Ability, the 2023 Upset Tabo winner, out for his first run for new trainer Fitzgerald Richards. Leading jockey Tevin Foster aboard the four year old Colt for the first time. There's the field. Number two, Am Fred, a five to one bet. Three Ability is a two to one second favorite. Six to five for the top choice in the four box, Wall Street Trader. Good betting support as well for number five, Atlantic Convoy at three to one. And the seven horse, Bootalicious, at seven to two. Let's get Brand Rickman's race call now. They're off for the Am Satisfied Trophy. Ability just came out behind them. Going for that lead, I Am Fred. Toward the outside, Bootylicious now sprinting through as they make their way down the back stretch. I am Fred chasing, Yellowstone right there on the rail. Wall Street Trader hidden from view in between horses. A gift from Ben racing out wide. Ability now says go and begins to make gains on those leaders. Atlantic Convoy is left at the back of the field. They race past the 716th, and it's a Bootylicious who has that lead, Wall Street Trader and I Am Fred, both all in red, these two chasing in earnest. Toward the outside, a gift from Ben, asked to make ground that stability. A gap opens up to Atlantic Convoy, needing a lot more so, to Yellowstone out of it totally, as they come thundering into the top of the lane, and it is Bootylicious the one to shoot at. Here is I Am Fred, Wall Street Trader left on the outside. Ability asked to make ground down against the rail, it's Bootylicious, but I Am Fred now mounting a charge on the outside. Bootylicious fighting off I Am Fred. Ability now sneaking up down against the rail. These three are breast, but only briefly. I Am Fred on the outside. Ability over against the fence. The bobbing heads. This is going to be a driving finish. It's very close. After being last out of the starting gates, Tevin Foster's smart and patient ride gets Ability home with a rail run edging I Am Fred at the wire. Second consecutive Am Satisfied Trophy win this for leading jockey Foster, who scored last year aboard Richie Azan's Perfect Brew, and he closes an afternoon three-timer with this win. Ability ships from the Patrick Lynch barn and gets a second win in three starts so far this year. As a two-to-one bet, last year's Mute Mile runner-up ability bred by reggae superstar Calvin Scott, a.k.a. Coco T, wins by a head for trainer Fitzgerald Richards, achieving 150 career wins with this tram. Ability clocks 1 minute 12 and 1 fifth of a second for the 6 furlong Am Satisfied Trophy. Seven wins in two race days for Inform Foster, but the 29-year-old rider missed out on back-to-back -back feature race wins. He had been aboard the favorite Talita in Thursday's Holiday Labor Day Trophy on the rail here, but the 2023 St. Leisure winner was outrun by the 72 bet Get a Pepsi with Paul Francis aboard. Get a Pepsi is determined and digging in. Thalita trying hard to cut into that lead as they flash past the furlong pole. It's Get a Pepsi and Thalita. Get a Pepsi inside the final 16th. Sister and Treasure trying to run on, but it is Get a Pepsi who scores. Get a Pepsi wins the Labor Day Trophy. Get a Pepsi by a length and a quarter scores in the Labor Day Trophy for trainer Errol Burke ahead of Sister and Treasure and Thalita, stopping the clock at 126 and 2 fifths for seven furlongs. Now scenes here from Tuesday's post position draw for the 1,000 and 2,000 Guinness this weekend, kicking off Jamaica's Triple Crown Series. 12 entries for Saturday's Phyllis Guinness, Karen Passard and Henry Pratt's Run Julie Run, drawn in post position 7, a smashing 10.5 length Portmore winner in early May from Ian Passard's barn, a 4 to 5 morning line favourite here, the one horse Fast and Furious Links who was second in the Portmore, and number three, Come Home to Me, the Thornbird Stakes runner-up among Run Julie Run's main challengers. In Sunday's Colts and Geldings 2000 Guinness, the impressive Kingston winner, interest in times ahead on a four-race winning streak, an irresistible favorite drawn in the six box. Sir Howard Stakes winner Allegiance in the one box, Prince Consort Stakes runner-up, Crown Chaser, drew post position eight, and in the nine box is California Crown, undefeated in two starts. 
Big trainers prominent here, three-time champion Antony Nunes has four starters, and reigning champ Jason DaCosta with three in the nine-horse field. Now, Trinidad and Tobago's Triple Crown Series kicks off this weekend as well at Santa Rosa Park with the Guinness on Friday's holiday. And disappointment for Ruth Van Smith's headlines again, undefeated as a two-year-old last year, but injured and misses out on the season's first classic. Only five starters here, another notable absentee, two-time winner El Rey Sanjay, also out of the ninth furlong Guinness with an injury, leaving Uncle Raj, the one horse, as a huge one-to-nine morning line favorite for champion trainer John O'Brien eyeing his third straight Guinness win with number three Red Alert and number five Secret Pages considered the main challengers. Let's head up north now to Lone Star Park in Texas, USA, where the American Hall of Fame jockey Big Money Mike Smith and the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. won with their first ever starter together. And it came in Monday's Memorial Day Spring Stakes. The 58-year-old Smith is based on the West Coast and Joseph stationed on the East Coast in Florida, both linking up in the South Central State for the $100,000 event with the one to five favorite Spirit Wind. Smith and the Blue Silks cruising to the front, coming off the final bend. Spirit Wind goes right on by. Just uh, coming to the quarter pole and she has already taken over by a length and a half from Palace Inn and up on the outside Accomplished Girl followed by Majestic Ways racing in fourth Spirit Wind just being guided by Smith coming past the furlong marker with a two length lead good effort here by Accomplished Girl in her first dirt effort but Accomplished Girl is three or four lengths in arrears of Spirit Wind in the Memorial Day Sprint and she gallops home here. How easy was that for Mike Smith a two time Kentucky Derby winner including 2018 with a Triple Crown champion Justify. Safi Joseph, currently number eight on the trainer's list in all of North America with horses earnings of over 5.22 million US dollars and closing in on 100 stakes wins in the USA and Canada. This, the 96th added money triumph for Safi since arriving in Florida from Barbados in 2011. Spirit Wind winning like a one to five favorite should by three and a half lengths covering six furlongs in 109.37. Chased by the 14 to one bet accomplished girl. Safi also had three wins this past weekend at Florida's Gulfstream Park where he is the leading trainer. Our usual weekly tally of wins for the Caribbean in the USA and Canada before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 64 victories. Yes, 64. Those numbers increasing now because the Canadian tracks have now opened for the 2024 season. Among the winners, the Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage. He had four winners at Aqueduct. Four winners, two at Thistledown for the Barbadian jockey Rocco Bowen. The Jamaican jockey Orlando Foster had a Saturday triple at Lethbridge. And there were three wins Tuesday afternoon at Assiniboia Downs for the ex champion jockey Pravin Badri. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.